Hi, my name is Nenad Stefanovski and welcome to another episode of Around the Cup in 90 Days. Today, in the first half, we will talk about Morocco's tactics and style of play as well as our predicted lineup for the North African nation, featuring a bright young talent. In the second half, we will cast a glance at Australia's football history and their corner flag serial killer, Tim Cahill. Morocco currently sit 23rd in FIFA's rankings and their newly appointed manager Walid Rekraki will be leading them into Group F. They play a 5-3-2 formation but in attack they are fluid with their wingbacks pushing up the pitch and they can cause a lot of damage on the transition with Hakimi. They have box-to-box -box midfielders that are capable of making clever runs and their attack consists of a physical striker and a quicker, more technical striker. They look to swing in crosses for El Nesiri with teammates waiting for an eventual second ball. Their defense is arguably the strongest area of their team and they like to sit high. This is because they have the personnel to do so and because Morocco likes to maintain possession in the opposition half. However, they are very capable of sitting back and creating a congested low block. Midfielder Unahi will be one to watch and we suspect he will definitely be making his way to a bigger side after the World Cup. This is our predicted lineup and we must mention that Ziyech is likely to feature as the manager change was suspected to be due to his retirement from international football. The Australian football team, or soccer as they call it, has been nicknamed the Soccer Roos. Some of their notable achievements include being runners-up in the FIFA Confederations Cup in 1997, winning the AFC Asian Cup in 2015, and being crowned champions of the OFC Nations Cup on four occasions, the most recent being in 2004. Their highest FIFA ranking was 14th in 2009, and their most capped player is goalkeeper Mark Schwarzer with 109 matches, and their top scorer is Tim Cahill with 50 goals which means there were 50 corner flag casualties. This will be their sixth World Cup appearance and their fifth successive World Cup, which shows how well they can do once they've decided to take the sport seriously. The biggest success at a FIFA World Cup was reaching the round of 16 in 2006, where they were eliminated by eventual champions Italy. Tim Cahill is also their top scorer at World Cups with five goals across four World Cups and shares the joint most appearances at a World Cup with Mark Bresciano with nine games across four World Cups. Welcome to our Extra Time prize game. In order for a chance to be in for a prize, simply like, share and subscribe and write down the answer to our following question in the comment section below. Stay tuned to see whether you are a lucky winner. Thank you for watching another episode of Around the Cup in 90 Days and stay tuned for daily updates on everything to do with the World Cup. Please like, share and subscribe if you like what we do and I hope we see you again tomorrow.